Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are uh, previewing NFL Week 13 right now with Indian Cowboy from DocSports.com. Right now we're going to take a look at the Monday night game, Miami and the Jets. Indian Cowboy, thanks for being back with us. Hey, thanks for having us, Pete. All right, I see. Before we hear your thoughts on uh, Miami and the Jets, you know, you cover a lot of uh, videos with us, but uh, you're, you're, you cover everything at your site, and your record that you rattle off to me every time, every video is just amazing. 61% in your uh, free picks uh, in your videos and uh, and you're killing it in basketball WNBA and college and NBA long term is that all right tell us all about that again yeah it's about right um, obviously our you know the, all of our subscribers on our YouTube channel uh, can verify and uh, each one of our videos is, is documented uh, we do a comp selection every single day um, in our comp video and the subscribers get them at the same time as soon as we put them out but yeah we're on a 31 and 12 run uh, we're 61 percent we only do one comp selection per day although we've started adding honorable mentions to it too just to add more content to the videos we're 61 percent for two and a half years nba we were number one in the country last year going 94 and 62 we'd love to do more plays but our one play of the day system works and we believe in our one play of the day system so we just stick to it uh, but 60 percent plus 12,890 last year alone in the nba uh, college basketball, 65 and 45, 58 percent. But over the historically, we won four out of the five years. 2011, we went 81 and 55. For plus 8400, it's our best sport typically. Uh, so between both sports, last year we went 156, 103, 59 percent, plus 17,310, winning WNBA season. Uh, NBA has already gotten off to a good start, 17 and 10 for plus 2450. College basketball, back-to-back -back winners, winning season so far. Hockey, of course, is 26 and 17. NFL and football, we're getting better. Uh, obviously, in our videos, you can tell that we're getting consistently better and better, uh, providing better and better predictions. Coming off a nice seven-star winner on the Eagles over the Titans last weekend, yeah. and obviously, we do the daily prediction videos every single day, which people subscribe to on like. So, well, that sounds great, Indy Cowboy. On Monday night, the Jets are a five and a half point uh, home underdog against Miami. The total is. 41 and a half or 42 and uh you know i don't know if you're taking if you like ugly dogs here's one for you right the jets got crushed absolutely obliterated uh against buffalo last week and miami you know they went into denver they almost want they almost beat them but uh you know they wound up not winning but they did get the cover in that one and miami has now covered four out of their last five the jets have been absolutely awful against the spread all year long including right up through last week so you know, maybe you want to time some kind of a reversal of fortune every now and then. The Jets do come back and get a cover, but certainly uh, year long, the Jets have been a great team to bet against, a horrible team to bet on. And Miami, strong defense, you know, pretty, pretty, uh, you know, an offense that's up and down. But uh, the, the Sharps have backed Miami at times this year. And, uh, you know, I don't know. Are the Sharps going to go against Miami here? Hard to see it. What do you like here, Indian Cowboy? Well, a couple things first. The Jets are 2-8 and eight ATS, to, right. you know, on the year so far. Miami 7-4 and four ATS. Miami has covered uh, five of their last six. And the Jets, of course, are just horrible. Uh, but it's so hard, and it, the crazy thing is everybody's going to be, this might be an 80% side, uh, people you know, favoring Miami, which you don't see that often, especially with their nice performance against Denver, uh, losing by just three points on the road, almost winning that game outright. So the no-brainer seems to be uh, Miami, which is why we're not going to pick Miami or mm -hmm. the Jets. <laughs> Because it's one of those, that's the same thing. That remember, we took Oakland plus a seven and a half against the, the Chiefs the other day. Yeah. Uh, we actually like the over here. We think that the over is safe for a couple of reasons. One, uh, whenever the Jets get throttled, they always bounce back on the offensive side of the ball. They got throttled at San Diego, if you remember, losing zero to 31. They put up 17 on Denver. Final score, 17-31. Uh, Sharps were heavily on the Jets in that game, and they and they took a hit. And the final score went to you know 48 points. Um, you know, when they put up 10 points against Kansas City on the road, they came back to put up 20 against Pittsburgh. And that's one of the few times the Sharps are right on the Jets. So every time they get throttled in single-digit point totals, they always do a double-digit point total better in the next game. Combine that with Miami doing pretty well against as, a, as an underdog on the road to the over um, who are favored. You know, that classic example is they put up 27 on Jacksonville. They put up 38 on Oakland uh, whenever they're a small road favorite. So we actually like the over here for that reason. We think the Jets will be a relatively good active dog. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know if it's good enough to stay within the five and a half. Probably not. But more importantly, like the over here. Okay, well, right now, 41 and a half is a widely available number, so that is a low total. But, you know, what do you say to people who say, you know, all right, well, the Jets indoors last week put up three against, uh, you know, against Buffalo. And Miami statistically has one of the better defenses in the NFL. 
They do, and all that's are valid points. But keep in mind that the Jets are 5-0 and o to the over in their home games, such as that Denver game, for example, uh, when they face a team with a winning road record, meaning when the Jets face elite teams or better teams in the league at home, they'll put up a better offensive performance. The Jets are going to put up at least 10 points here. There's no way they're going to put up three and then have a four game. I mean, they're, they're going to put up some points here because whenever you know Rex Ryan's team puts up single-digit points, even I mean, this season's a classic example, they come back with double-digit points. I wouldn't even be surprised if the Jets were the first one to score this game and Miami plays a bit of a catch up because Miami's really high on the public opinion poll after the Denver game so don't be surprised if the Jets put up at least 13 to 17 Miami puts up their fair share of points and this game goes over interesting analysis as always Indian Cowboy that's what you always give us liking over currently 41 and a half is one of the widely available numbers thanks so much I see talk to you again very soon the SBR network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns Big money free betting contests year round, a real time Vegas style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.